Today is, what is today? It's Saturday, October 14th. So this week I got some things finalized for a very exciting trip that I'm taking next week. It's a work trip for a training conference and it's actually in Las Vegas. Can't wait to get back to that beautiful area. I love the land. I love the national parks there and the state parks. I'm hoping to use some of my free time maybe in the evenings and I'm staying a little bit longer on the weekend to do that and just learn from this training conference and get a lot out of it and kind of have a change of scenery for my work and then also get some time to explore and refresh myself on a personal level. One of those things I kind of wanted to do with my YouTube channel is to do travel logs and show the places I get to go and different activities and things I get to do. So definitely going to be doing some filming over here in Las Vegas next week. So I just checked into my room. Tried to be positive and patient, but I uh, let's just look at something that's not been the greatest today. Yeah, and that's missing too. So needless to say, dragging that thing around has not been very fun, but I'm finally here, so. Another interesting fact about this room is that 78, 78 degrees in here. Yeah, it definitely feels it, but let's take a look. I don't know if it'll be too bright to see this. Not the greatest view, but oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm here. Some business I gotta take care of. Wait, I gotta take this off. Ready? Bed number one. <laughs> I need a stress release. Okay. Alright, bed number two. I was just looking outside and looking out at my window. You can see off in the distance just a little bit of all the rocks and the beautifulness and it just gives me this weird nostalgic feeling and like I miss this place. There's just something about places that I've always fallen in love with and I don't know, I just really love the ruggedness. I'm gonna try not to be nostalgic and just try to keep making some memories here. And First day of my Adobe conference. It's so exciting to be here. Oh my word, I just got done with a fireside chat with Pete Souza, who is the White House photographer during the Obama administration all eight years, and oh my god, it was amazing. All these people are lining up to talk to Pete Souza, former White House photographer. When I also get onto this Adobe Premiere Pro class, I was really thankful. A great first day, and now I'm gonna actually gonna go meet a photographer I know that I met like two years ago ago at a race where I contacted her about doing a photo shoot with me and so ooh, we're gonna go do a photo shoot. It's time to jump on some baby. <laughs> so here we go. This is why I love this area of the world. Gorgeous sunrises. Good morning. It is Thursday and the Adobe conference has been going on now for one day and today's our second day. But last night I had a photo shoot. It was so exciting. I have a little bit of footage from the location where we were at, which I have no idea where it was. It was just out in the middle of nowhere. Barb David's photography. I met her at a race when she was doing the race photography for it back in 2015. So it's been like two years now. It was awesome. The location was amazing in the sky. Like I can't wait to see the final photos.
beautiful weather. Skies. All right, it's Thursday evening, and today was a really great day of class at the Adobe conference, and had a lot of really productive classes. Um, started out with like a photography one about portraiture, and he had a lot of really interesting things to say about it that were technical and theoretical. So. I don't know, it was really interesting and he was a nice guy and very relatable and he came up to a couple of us at the beginning and just wanted to meet us and you know, see what we did and so he, he met me actually, so that was pretty cool. I had a video editing one and I checked out the expo that they have there. I just did some homework and I'm gonna do a little bit more but I went to the Bellagio fountains and that was amazing so I got some footage there and I'll include that in whatever travel log I do but yeah it's just very refreshing to go out there walk around be alone and just enjoy it and yeah it was very nice very refreshing happy Friday it's the last day in the Adobe conference which I'm kind of sad about but I'm really excited for my classes it's gonna be a great day I've had such an amazing time here at this Adobe conference I've got to meet some new people the classes I've taken a lot of notes or I've asked some questions and it's been very helpful to be around fellow creative people whether it's photography or you know designing animation <laughs> Just finished. Another sunset. <laughs> I finished my final day in the Adobe conferences. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to Red Rock Canyon, and I love Red Rock Canyon. I've run a half marathon there, we've hiked there, we've visited there, we've driven the 12, 13 mile loop, it's amazing. And I can't wait, I can't wait to go back, and I'm gonna be there for sunrise, so I can't wait to see that. I don't think we've ever gotten there so early to do that. And um, so I'm pretty excited. Today's been a good day, had some classes. I was late to one of them, but I mean, I think I had a total of like five. So made it to most of all of them. And um, also one of the classes was taught by Colin Smith who founded Photoshop Cafe. And I originally found out about him through Taylor Davis's music. And I plan on playing some of Taylor Davis's music tomorrow morning. I talked with him for a little bit before the class started and he even asked me a question and I can't believe it, I was able to help him. <laughs> and I knew the answer, I felt so helpful. <laughs> anyway, so it was a good day. And I also get to see my aunt and my cousin tomorrow too because they live in the area. It's been a good day. It's a good end of the week, even though it's not done yet. I'm looking so forward to tomorrow. So it just occurred to me, and first I want to point out this little dude right here kind of amusing so anyway um, I realize look at what time it is if you can read that it kind of looks backwards to me but I don't know if it's backwards it says 937 I just brushed my teeth I'm going to bed I'm in Las Vegas <laughs> it's a Friday night and I'm going to bed at like 10 o'clock <laughs> I'm sure the world will think I'm crazy but anyway so I just thought it was really funny that I'm getting ready for bed and it's not even 10 o'clock yet <laughs> Right now, I am packing up, so I have like all kinds of junk all over the place, but yeah, it's my last full day. Well, it's not full, but um, sun is shining. It's really pretty outside. Yeah, so I'm gearing up to go. I'm gonna try to donate blood today, and then I'm gonna go hang out with my aunt and cousin again and drop off my rental car and get on the road. So hopefully, I will have a full, jam-packed, awesome time here in Las Vegas, accomplishing all the different things that I wanted to accomplish especially the hiking <laughs> I really wanted to do that so got that done yeah I'm looking forward to giving blood because that's one thing that I really wanted to do while I'm here and <sighs> gotta finish packing down I donated blood I'm so excited like check it out oh that's really sunny but you can see my arm and yay I'm so excited and now I'm gonna go spend a little more time with my aunt and my cousin so 
So, my flight got delayed by 12 hours last night, and um, now I'm on the plane. It's like 8.45, 8.20 in the morning. I'm kind of alone back here right now. And there's not a lot of people up in front of us. Apparently there's only like 14 passengers who stuck around. I think everybody else tried to get different flights, so... Oh man, they gave me a cot last night. I was so thankful. We got a few hours of sleep and kind of woke up early, like 4. That's pretty great to <laughs> being in the army again, sleeping on cots. Those of you that are Good morning, folks, from Flight Deck. We'd like to walk you aboard your United Express Flight 5760. Today's version of yesterday's flight into Lexington, Kentucky.